Uh, at present, um, your cows need to be on a rising plane of nutrition or gaining weight as they're brought into the breeding season. And a cow's energy intake at present is nearly 100% dictated by how much grass you're going to get into her. Um, so if you're overestimating your grass intake, um, your cows are not going to be taking as much energy as you think. And I suppose at, um, at present, with the way grass is growing, grass growth on average is only about 40 to 45 kilos across the Leinster region. Demand with silage with around closed off is closer to 50 to 55 kilos, depending on what stocking rate you get up to. It can lead to situations where you're overestimating the intake of grass out in farm. That's going to have knock on effects on body condition score, um, on cows potential to gain weight, and on milk proteins out in farm. Grass quality out in farm are present as well, and as we increase a greater amount of grass into a cow's diets, um, cow's rumen becomes under more and more pressure and that can lead to a situation or a, 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 a disorder called subclinical rumen acidosis which is basically just a cow's rumen coming under more and more pressure she gets less use out of what you're putting in and passes a greater amount of it out in her faeces. Um, a big clinical sign of that out in farm would be low butter fats or butter fats dropping. Um, butter fats and protein being nearly one for run and it can go as, as, as far as butter fats being lower than protein. Um, to overcome those issues out on grass you need to ensure that you're feeding cows a nice source of digestible or undigestible fibres. Um, so make sure your concentrates are based around mm. soya hulls, um, beef pub, citrus, maize meal. Don't have a huge quantity of native cereals like barley or wheat in a concentrate. Um, you can contemplate putting some straw or dry bale silage into cow's diets as 